Hey, I'm Gardener Nicole. Welcome back. Um, haven't seen you guys since 2023. It is 2024 and it's our winter planning time. Um, as many of you know, I have been gardening for a long time, since about third grade. My um, dad had a garden, um, his um, uh, mom had a garden, my great uncles and aunts had gardens. I remember going um, to my um, great uncle Moses' garden and seeing people from the community there. So uh, when I got married, that was something I really wanted to do. So even before Jeremiah and James came along, um, I was already gardening. And then once they could walk, we had them out there growing food because uh, growing food is not as hard as people think. And when you grow your own food, you know where the source and you know what went on there. You know there's no chemicals on there because you put it in the ground. And it's relaxing and good for your mental health. So today is our planning day because as you know, it's winter time and we're in Indiana and we can't be outside. So uh, typically how we plan is um, we, we plan so many different ways. So we used to plan on paper um, back when I was trying to get y'all to write <laughs> and use your, your pencil and good form or whatever. But now... Uh, uh, they're 12 and uh, we on technology now. So we created a Google spreadsheet. Um, we have one column that's called Garden Brainstorm. We just put in the different things um, that we want in the garden and then each person um, checks whether they want it or not. And that helps us uh, to understand how much of something we should grow. Um, so, so far we have, we have mushrooms, onions, curly kale, uh, lacinto, um, onion chives, different types of mint, and it's some things we put down um, because we um, we like it. Okay, I saw this mushroom that was on here, and we have never done mushrooms before, so we're gonna have to research. I'm putting, I'm putting, uh, I'm putting another column that says research because I don't even know where to start with that. So, if there's anything that we haven't grown before, we need to put a uh, check in the research column. So we've been brainstorming for a while. So the next stage is to go back through our list and narrow down and categorize. And the categorizing may sound a little silly, but you want to make sure you have enough for all the things. Like, do you have enough fruit that you're going to grow? Do you have enough vegetables do you, are you going to grow? And do you have enough variety within the vegetables? So uh, just because it made it to the, the first co column of what the brainstorm may I make it to the final one. So let's start going through this list. So the very first thing we have are mushrooms. Now, I know why mushrooms was put on the list because we eat mushrooms pretty much every week, but I have no knowledge of how to grow mushrooms. Like, nobody in our extended family has grown them. I know no one ha that has grown them. So I'm going to put this in yellow as in a maybe because we need to do research to see what we actually need to do. So I see we have onions, and we haven't grown onions in a, 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 like a while, like, like last house. So I, that's okay. Um, we have curly kale, like the regular kale people see in the store. And then we have the lacinto, also known as dinosaur kale, which is that big, tall, kind of narrow kale um, that's good for kale chips. Uh, I like that, so I'm going to highlight that in green. So I don't know who put mint, or is this, this is adding another type of mint. Okay, I'm going to put a question mark on this one because we have to find a location. So then I want to test you. Why, why is it important that the mint has a certain location? Uh, because um, the one mint we grew last year, it like, well every time we've grown it, it like takes over the area that it's in, so we need a separate bed for it. Yeah, it needs its own bed confined because mint can just spread like wildfire. So I'm going to put yellow on that one. I think it's feasible, but we have to get enough, that has to have its own bed, and that other mint bed is already full of mint. So we have strawberries, blackberries. So our next step will be to research the things that we have as a maybe to figure out if we have enough time, you know, to get all the things that we need to do it. We have to check our seed box uh, to see what seeds we already have because we don't want to order seeds we already have. And then we have to order the little custom stuff that we're getting that we don't have, that we know that we don't have. So. That's it for now, but you you know you remember anybody can be a gardener. Just have to get ready, get, get set, set, and grow. grow.